Have a wonderful day everyone. This is Dr. Lorna and welcome to the segment of my channel, Knowledge is Power. Have you heard about monkeypox or mpox? On August 14, 2024, the World Health Organization declared the mpox outbreak a public health emergency of international concern. The new strain of monkeypox, which has been spreading rapidly in Africa and causing concern globally, is called Clade 1B. One of the most important things for you to know is, how is it being transmitted? Transmission occurs through direct contact with infectious skin or mucous lesions, body fluids, respiratory droplets, or contaminated materials. What are the symptoms of this? Symptoms include skin rash or lesions, fever, swollen lymph nodes, headache, muscle aches, back pain, sore throat, and low energy. Take note for the incubation period, which is 5 to 21 days. Now, if you are manifesting symptoms like this, rashes just like chicken pox, but instead of clear fluid inside, it's a pass or nana. Then consult your doctor immediately for proper diagnosis, management, and treatment. The Department of Health issued on August 29, 2024, a Department Memorandum Number 2024-0306 for specific guidelines such as prevention, isolation, and quarantine. Please read.
treatment for impacts is mainly supportive and is directed at relieving symptoms such as fever, pain, and pruritus. Patient may be given antipyretic for fever, analgesic for general pain management, stool softener for patient with proctitis, oral antiseptics, local anesthetic, prescribed analgesic, mouthwash, or clean salt water for oropharyngeal symptoms, and of course, oral antihistamine for pruritus associated with impact lesions. Supportive treatment for skin lesions shall be provided to patient to relieve discomfort, hasten the healing, and prevent complications. Adequate nutrition and appropriate hydration should be provided based on a thorough assessment of the individual's nutritional and fluid status. Counsel patient with mild impacts about the signs and symptoms of complications and should prompt urgent care. All patients with impacts, including their caregivers, should be counseled to monitor for any persistent, new, or changing symptoms. If this occur, they should seek medical care according to national care pathways. I hope that you learned something from this video because knowledge is power.